One of the scholars, he mentions a story that there was a man in the United States. He, he was a religious preacher. He entered a lift, a young man. And when he was in the lift, they, the lift stopped at a certain floor. And the female entered it. She was semi-nude. And he looked down and he did not look at her. And she was agitated, irritated. First time in her life, somebody's not looking. And she's stamping. She's doing, you know, trying to make a noise, making it. And the two of them are alone in the lift. And he just looks down. He doesn't say a word. He, his lift stopped. She wanted to go higher. When he came out, she came out behind him. This is a true story. She came out behind him and she created a discussion. Hey, you know what? I'm very offended. Am I so bad, so dirty, so ugly that you couldn't even look? Now she's being honest. This is how the women have been trained. That you need to attract men at large. You need to attract men at large. So am I, am I this that you couldn't even look? You couldn't even... And he says, look my sister, you know what? I'm a Muslim. I respect you so much, really. And I have a wife. And I have this. And I have that. And I would not... I don't want to insult myself and yourself by, you know, staring at you. And what am I going to gain by it? And he explained to her in a beautiful way. And she asked for his number now imagine if someone asked you for their numbers wow mashallah. and respectfully the man agreed and he felt that you know i will get the people in touch with her and explain after some time she accepted islam and she says islam has liberated me from being a person who, who cannot leave the home without half an hour in front of the mirror without spending on different types of designer clothing, without Islam has liberated me. I just put on a black cloak and I walk out. That's it. 